What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Kevin Sampson of PictureLockShow.com. And in celebration of Father's Day, I wanted to bring you my top five movies that, you know, you could watch with your father on Father's Day. At number five, a classic choice, The Godfather. Now, of course, this is a movie showing you that crime doesn't pay, but it is also about the strength and dysfunction of a crime family, and at the center of it all is a father. And of course, the great, my grapes keep moving. Of course, the great Marlon Brando played the role of the Godfather. <laughs> Uh, the Godfather is just a great film. It's a classic film, um, and yes, uh, it all surrounds a strong uh, father. Of course, uh, again, the the film shows that crime doesn't pay, but boy, is it fun watching it. Number four, uh, 1946's It's a Wonderful Life, uh, which starred James Jimmy Stewart as a frustrated businessman with uh, who's down on his luck, and with no other choices he feels on the table, he's contemplating uh, committing suicide so that he could uh, provide for his family. And along comes uh, an angel who shows him what life would be like if he did not exist. Um, and overall, this is just one of those classic Frank Capra films. How could you not love this film? And although a lot of the times it's more so about George Bailey's life, um, him being a father and a husband has a lot to, d to do with uh, the decisions that he makes within the movie, uh, as well as what how life would be so vastly different if he wasn't a father. And everybody has to love Zuzu's Petals. <laughs> Did I get that right, Mom? My mom loved that movie. <laughs> Talk about a throwback for those of us that are like 80s babies. 1993's Mrs. Doubtfire, starring Robin Williams, uh, as Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, man, talk about the links that you'll go just to see your kids. Uh, Robin Williams dresses up as Mrs. Doubtfire and plays this duplicitous role. It's, oh, man, that's just a classic. Jump around. Anybody that's like cooking dislike probably was born in 2000 and after, but that's okay. I understand. <laughs> But whether you've seen the film or not, uh, you should definitely check it out. Uh, it's a classic film, and even though in many ways he's kind of uh, ruined his family uh, to get to this point, it does show the links that a father will go to keep his family together and at least be with his children. So, 1993's Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay, before we uh, lost the love for the father and son team up in After Earth, Will Smith and Jaden Smith um, did an awesome job in 2006's The Pursuit of Happiness. Based on the real life of Chris Gardner, Will Smith is Chris Gardner, and uh, he's a struggling a salesman that eventually becomes homeless, and he decides that he wants to just take his life a different route for him and for his son. And we just see his struggle as he uh, tries to provide and become a stockbroker. Eventually he does, and again, it's the pursuit of happiness. So, um, you know, it's just a tearjerker. There's only three ways that a man can cry in the film. Check out my uh, other review if you want to know how. Um, but yeah, th this this would apply to that film. There's only three ways that you can cry in it, um, and you know you did. I guess that brings us to the top film that, uh, you know, is for fathers. And that's 1991's remake of the Spencer Tracy classic, Father of the Bride. Steve Martin is George Banks. And, I mean, this film has to show what all fathers must feel at some point during that time when it's time for them to give their daughter away. I know for me personally... I have a long way to go uh, before I get to that point, but you gotta, you better believe it. I'm gonna be watching uh, Father of the Bride uh, just to kind of prepare myself when it does come to that point. I mean, the the movie is just hilarious. Steve Martin is hilarious. Martin Short, um, it's just a classic. And even though um, there's so many funny parts, uh, 
you know, it has that, that great character arc. And, and by the end of the movie, you know, again, there's only three ways that a man can cry in Father of the Bride. And you bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to do the ugly cry uh, in Father of the Bride, especially now that I have a daughter. Oh, my. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, those are my top five Father's Day films. Uh, if you have any that you think that I missed, please comment below and let me know which ones you think should have been added to the list or should be added to the list. Um, I do have a couple of honorable mentions. 1997's Life is Beautiful, um, which is an Italian film in which um, Roberto Benigni plays a father who uh, is in a concentration camp. And... He's with his son, but his son doesn't realize that they're in a concentration camp and he makes sure that his son doesn't come to that conclusion or realization. And he just tells him that, hey, they're, they're playing a game and if, they, if he works really hard at it, then uh, he'll win the game. And so the entire time while the rest of the camp is uh, in utter despair, he keeps a smile on his face and is trying to just encourage his son to have a great time. Uh, in the worst situation. So Life is Beautiful is definitely a foreign film that is all about an awesome father that you should check out if you haven't seen it. Have a great Father's Day. Make sure you give your father a call. Um, for those of us that actually are privileged enough to still have our fathers with us, for those that aren't, I'm sure that you'll be reflecting on uh, your father and hopefully uh, the great impact that he had in your life. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe on our bi-weekly newsletter at PictureLockShow.com. Follow us on uh, Twitter, at PictureLockShow. You can like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash PictureLockShow. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe right after this. Uh, and in the meantime, I hope you stay locked on film.